Uh, before that, however, our very own street barber has been continuing his search for stylists responsible for some of the most distinctive, not to say notorious, hairstyles of all time. Tonight, the woman who made some big changes to David Bowie's barber. David Bowie's hair has always been important, even when he was plain old David Jones defending his long-haired look on a 60s TV show. Now, exactly who's been cruel to you? The last two years we've had uh, comments like, darling, and uh, can I carry a handbag thrown at us? I think it's just had to stop. Now. It was Bowie's androgyny that created controversy, and the stage persona that flirted most with mixed male-female identity was one Ziggy Stardust. This is Major Tom to ground control. I remember seeing it for the very first time and being totally blown away. This amazing orange hair was in the shape of Frankenstein's monster. I'd like to uncover, you know, why people copied that style so much and who was the hairdresser guilty of creating it? Lifelong fan Paul Henderson seems like a good place to start. He's been utterly captivated by Bowie since he was a teenager and is a big fan of the Ziggy Cut. It was um, quite a controversial look, wasn't it, at the time? Shocking, actually. Way ahead of its time. And do you ever get any stick walking around with that hairdo? Funnily Is enough, it? no, not so much at all, no. And it couldn't be so any redder, could it? Red or orange, it changes shades. <laughs> <laughs> it changes, because I have to do it about five times a year now. It still hasn't fallen out yet. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can create my own Ziggy haircut, and John, a film student, has bravely agreed to be oh. my model. The most obvious thing we need to do is to turn John from brown into a redhead. And as if by magic, all we need to do now is cut it. Come on, John. Yeah. Doesn't actually conform to any of the normal rules of any other haircut, but it'll be easy. This is like being a hairdresser for stars in your eyes. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Ziggy Stardust. Small jean genius, snuck off to the city, strung out on lasers and slashed back blazers and ate all your razors while pulling the razor. Great, I think we're done. I'm so excited, I can't believe it. And I'm also excited to meet the original guilty hairdresser here in Beckenham High Street, where Bowie grew up. Bowie had his hair styled by his mum's hairdresser, Susie Ronson, and I've brought her all the way from New York back to her old stomping ground. So here it is, and this is where it all started, was this particular salon. Looks very different, of course, these days, but... Um, <laughs> I bet it does. Here yeah. it is, yeah. And was it, uh, it lo is. lots of little old ladies and things like that Yes, well? waves and curls yeah. was my little forte at that time. How did you end up doing David Bowie's hair? David's mother used to come in, she was my quarter to five on a Thursday, and she would come in and get her hair done and tell us about how wonderful David was. And she said, why don't you come up and meet David? I said, OK, I'd like to do that, because I was into getting outside clients. I wanted to do something differently. I think it was the era where girls were only just starting to do guys' hair. And that's when you created the Ziggy haircut, is it? We came up with three different hairstyles. OK. Uh, which I incorporated into one. So I cut it and went home, and they called me the next morning, and David was flipping out because it wasn't what he thought it was going to be. And we said, it's going to be OK when it's dyed. And then I went back the next day and dyed it red. And it was brilliant. It came out really well. I just thought it was the most fabulous thing they'd ever seen. So it wasn't an easy hairstyle to do because there wasn't gels. So I actually had to find something that would make it stick up straight. And that was a dandruff treatment that made it stand up straight. Oh, really? And do you feel at all guilty for creating that hairstyle that so many people copied? I feel responsible for every punk haircut they ever followed, darling. I mean, I really do. I think that I set a complete trend. I mean, it was hysterical, really, because there's not too many people that can wear that hairstyle. And there's not many hairdressers who can pull it off. What will Susie think of my attempt? Hello there, man, you all right? Look at this. How does, how does this look? Well, you know, it's not bad, is it? Not a bad attempt. Do you hear that, huh? And 38 years after creating it, Susie can be proud that the Ziggy Cut is still turning heads.